We have a car review. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mars had a chance to drive. I can't believe that Ford let him do this. I know. A 2024 Ford Mustang GT. Well, I have to say it involved a lot of groveling. But it is the uh, GT (laughs) with the manual six-speed transmission. So this is a... um, Basically, what do you call it? It's a four-passenger sports car. I mean, that's what it is, and that's why I was rated. I don't know that I would consider two passengers in the back seat, but it is a little bit bigger, and it's You have to scoot possible. the front seats up. Yeah. Way up. And so comes in five available trim levels, and we were driving the GT Premium, which is the EcoBoost, the EcoBoost Premium, GT, GT Premium, and the Dark Horse that they so far haven't allowed me to even look I got at. that well, because, uh, because nander, I'm nander, a better nander. driver than you well I hope there's oh, still some oh, tread on it whenever oh. it finally I didn't makes get, it to no, me no I didn't get any tread on mine no there was no tread I got <laughs> no tread. the tires <laughs> so this is redesigned this year so this is the beginning of the seventh generation we had the rapid red paint which I love the name of it and on the outside of it you're going to find up front the LED lighting the, even the sequential LED tail lights were there and one of the great things about the Mustang had approach lighting pony uh, had the pony lamps whenever you come up to the car, had ponies down on the ground, which everybody thought was really cool for about 30 seconds. Had the hood <laughs> bent and uh, had uh, rain sensing wipers, got a performance raised wing spoiler on it, and the GT Premium rolls on some 19 inch wheels. And it does have the other thing that was really cool, it's got the active valve exhaust. I don't know if you had that on the dark horse or not, but you I can did. change I the turned tune. it. I know, I turned it off. Well, I turned I, it up to the track, and because, it didn't sound as good. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I know that I woke up the neighbors five days in a row. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Mustangs have a distinct sound no matter what. So you get to the interior. So we had one of the performance packages. So it had the leather Recaro seats, which mm-hmm. I believe is what you put in the Corvette. I did not. I, Corvo, don't, I, I, don't, I don't like leather. I like mine cloth and their Corbo cloth seats. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you for asking. But they that. are the high bolstered type of sports. Yes, they are. Yes. They are that. And uh, and of course, with this package, did since you we, have trouble getting in and out of it? Getting oh, in was man. a bit of an issue. Out was easy. It was just trying to get in between the steering wheel and get over that high bolster. And when you got in, it was comfortable. Now, if I was a larger person, I don't know that it would be. But for what it was there, it was great. But there is no heat and no vent. To the seats because they're the aftermarket type seats. Had a 13.2 inch infotainment screen, had a 12.4 inch digital instrument cluster. Um, so we had over on the infotainment screen where we could find our navigation, uh, Ford Pass Connect, Ford Sync 4 runs all that stuff, the rear view camera, track apps, had some track apps. And there's the split folding rear seat that folds down so you can put a little more cargo in there. And we had a B&O 12-speaker audio system Woo-hoo. that sounded really good. By the time you figured it up with that audio, I mean with the exhaust. Now, up under the hood, it had the 5.0 liter V8, 480 horsepower, 415 pound feet of torque. And it did have the six-speed manual transmission. Now, the EPA says you should be able to get 14 in the city, 23 on the highway, <laughs> 17 combined. <laughs> What was yours, Mars? Well, I actually got 21.2 across wow. 200.8 miles. So, I mean, most of that was on the highway, I noticed obviously. that you didn't drive it here. No, I didn't because we had the truck. We were using the yeah, truck for food. gear stuff. Yeah. So, I, I didn't get to put that many miles on it. But I will say it's good got looking some car. seriously it awesome power. It looks good. It's longer. It sits lower. It's got a lower profile to it. Uh, and, again, we had the performance package. So, for the ride and handling, it had the Magna ride. But now, to me, that's a little stiff. You can put it into one of the four drive modes, normal, sports, slippery, which I really didn't understand. And then you had the drag mode. By the time you kicked it into the drag mode, you definitely knew that you were into some track suspension. Now, the base model price on the Mustang is $32,275. Base trim price for the vehicle we were driving, the premium trim level, is $49,075. Now, the Monroni that we got is not for sale, so I didn't have a price for that specific car. But we did have a couple of other packages on it, performance packages and stuff that would push that price well up above 50000 Now, 2024 Camaro is at $29,788. The, there is no 24 Challenger, so the 2023 Challenger starts at $31,100. Same thing for the Kia Stinger, a little two-door coupe. 2023 Stinger is $36,690 for a starting price for the MSRP. 
So it uh, yeah depends on it's like a lot of things it depends on how you package it up how you dress it up mm-hmm. what you want out of it as to what the price is going to be but it is a very fun car and I see why they sell the good GBs out of them. All right, thank you, sir. If you'd like to get in touch with us, shoot us an email. The info uh, address is info at inwheeltime.com. and be sure. To-